In this tutorial, we will create an old wood material in Corona Renderer. This lesson is a continuation of my YouTube lesson on creating wood material. If you haven't watched it yet, click the link in the description. I have this texture, I'll import it into the material editor right away. So, first of all, let's apply this texture only to the base color slot. To do this, I need a mix node, right button, maps, general, mix. The mix node is a node that allows you to mix colors or textures through a black and white map. We're going to have our new texture as our black and white map. In slot 1, I'll connect the old chain with the wood texture in instance mode, and in slot 2, for now, I'll assign the color red to make it more visual. And the whole mix node I'm going to connect in base color. Run interactive render, and you can see how that works. Let's rotate our texture 90 degrees, and I'd like to randomize this texture a little bit as well. I'm going to use our Corona Mapping Randomizer node. Right mouse button, Maps, Corona, Corona Mapping Randomizer. Inserting this node into our chain, and I will randomize our texture by skew and offset only. Let's also change the randomization mode from Instance to Mesh Element. Let's make our texture rotate slightly 5 degrees in different directions along the x-axis. Ok, I've stopped on these randomization values, I'm happy with that. And now we need to apply our diffuse texture chain instead of the red color in the mix node, but in a darker version. I select the color correction node, with the shift key held down, move it down, plug it into slot 2, and change the color of this node to a darker color by reducing the brightness. And you can see how clearly the black pattern on our wood material becomes visible. In order for this pattern to be seen more clearly, it needs to have a different sheen than the rest of the material and have a slight bump. To do this, I need to do some trick. I use a new material. Right click, Material, Corona Layered MTL. This material allows you to mix various other materials with the base material through a black and white mask. Let me show you more clearly how this works. As a black and white mask, we will apply our roughness map. I will copy this map, place this chain in the mask one slot. Let's choose a blue material as the base material and let's choose a red material as layer 1. These are going to be regular Corona Physical MTLs. Let that be the blue color. Let's apply it to the base material. And the second material will be a red color. Apply it to the layer 1 and apply this material to our table. And you can see how the blue material and the red material blend together through the black and white mask. Now instead of the first blue material, we'll apply our old wood material. I'm going to remove the blue material, and in the base material slot, I apply the old wood material. I don't remove this material. Into the base slot of this material, I'm going to apply our wood texture, which is applied color correction with darkening. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. In our old wood material, I can delete the mix node and the old map. So we have a Corona layered MTL, which has our basic wood material in its base layer with all the parameters that we've set up in the first part of the tutorial. And in layer 1 of this material, we have applied a new material, which we are going to customize now. As a mask, we have a cracked texture with Corona randomizer applied to it. Let me increase the shine of our new material. Now you can see our patterns shine more. This is too strong. I've stopped at these values. And next, to create a displacement where the cracks are, I'm going to apply this chain to the displacement slot. I'll select the material, find the displacement settings, and enter a value of about minus 0.2. And now you can see how we've got a bump in place of the cracks. And now with the Corona Mapping Randomizer, you can interactively change the pattern of these cracks. 
If you want, you can apply a different texture with the cracks. Let's do that. I'm going to put this texture into 3ds Max. Copy the Corona Mapping Randomizer. I'll apply our texture to it. And apply this chain in place of the previous chain. And now this texture also works as a mask and as a displacement. And you can see the result. You can also play around with the Corona Randomizer settings. This texture can be rotated from 0 to 360 degrees randomly. You can also scale it up a bit. If you look at the preview of this texture, you can see that it's a little lacking in contrast. Let's change that. In our chain, I'll apply the familiar Corona Color Correct node and increase the contrast value. Now our mask and display will work better. Your feedback is important to me. See you next time.